example 2 so from the above data this question wants us to calculate the first quartile third quartile and then the 10th and 90th percentile in this example 2 the given data in the table is in the class limit so we should change our class limit to the class boundary so how to change class limit to the class boundary so here is 5 upper limit from the first class plus with the lower limit in the second class and then divide by 2 so when you divide by 2 you should get 5.5 here and then 8 plus with 9 and then divide by 2 you should get 8.5 so do it until the last class okay so now we want to find the first quartile so the first quartile is q1 so we should find the r observation first so r equals to 1 over 4 times n so our total frequency is equals to 30 we will get 7.5 observation. To find the first quartile class, so refer to the column cumulative frequency. So 7.5 is inside 14. So 9, 8.5 until 11.5 is our first quartile class. Okay, so now we will determine the value to substitute into the formula. So our lower boundary for the this quartile class is 8.5. Then cumulative frequency before the quartile class. So before the quartile class is 3. And then frequency at the quarter class, at the first quarter class, frequency is 11. And then class size, upper boundary minus with lower boundary. So 18, 11.5 uh, minus with 8.5. So equals to 3. Now substitute all the value inside the formula. So we want to find Q1. So here is 8.5 plus open big bracket. So our K is 1 over 4 times N 30 minus with cumulative frequency before class. So 3 over cumulative frequency at the class. And then times with class interval yeah. class interval class size 3 calculate so the first quota is equal to 9.73 now we want to find the third quota Q3 we should find the R observation first so R equals to 3 over 4 times 3 times 30 because our n is equals to 30, so equals to 22.5 observation. So now referring to the cumulative frequency. So 22.5 is inside 24. So we will refer this class as our third quartile class now we will list all the values we are need to substitute into the formula our lower boundary is 11.5 cumulative frequency before class so before class is 14 frequency at the class so our frequency is 10 and then the class size is 3. So just substitute all the values inside the formula. So Q3 equals to 11.5 plus the K since we want to find the third quartile. So our K is 3 over 4 times 
30 minus with 14 divide with 10 and then multiply with 3. Calculate then we will get 14.05 as our third quartile. Now we want to find the 10th percentile. So P10. First find the R observation. So R observation 10 over 100 multiply with 30. So we will get third observation. So the third observation is inside second class. So here is the class we will refer. Then we list out all the value we are need to put in the formula. So lower boundary for this class is 5.5. Next is cumulative frequency before this class is 1. Frequency at this class is equals to 2. Then the class size is 3. Now we can calculate the 10th percentile. Just put all this value into the formula. So 5.5 plus with... 10 over 100 multiply with 30 minus with 1 divide with 2 and then multiply with the cc is the class size equals to 3. So calculate we will get 8.5. Last one we want to find the P90. Find the R observation, so 90 divided by 100 times with N. N is 30, so this one is 27 observation. So 27, try to look at, at the cumulative frequency, capital F, so 27 is inside this one, 20. 29 so we will refer this class so now list all the values we are need to put into the formula so lower boundary for this class is 14.4 cumulative frequency before this class is 24 this is our class so before class is 24 frequency at this class so 5 and then the class size is also 3. Now calculate. So 90th percentile 14.5 plus with 19 or, uh, 90 over 100 times 30 minus 24 divided by 5 and then multiply with 3. So calculate the final answer should be 16.3 this example 3 find the mean mode median and then 75 percentile look at, at the class given so the class given is in the form of class limit and then it has been given to us frequency the, the small letter f so before you are solving this example 3, so make sure you build up this table and then your class must be in the class boundaries which we can just check that the upper limit for the first class must be equals to the second and the lower limit for the second class. And then the second column midpoint of the class mark then we have the cumulative frequency, the capital F. Then we need Fx. So Fx, the last part you have to try to find the total of Fx, summation of Fx. Then the summation of F, total frequency must be equal to 90. First, we want to find the mean. So mean. is 
x bar equals to summation of fx divided by summation of f. So, summation of fx will get 2885 and then divide by 90. So, equals to 32.06. Next, we want to find the mode. So, the mode, we need to determine which class is the model class. So, to determine the model class, look at the frequency, the column of frequency, which is the highest frequency. So, the highest frequency is 35. So, this one is the model class. Now, we want to take out all the values to put inside the formula so lower boundary for this model class is 29.5 and then d1 so d1 35 minus minus with frequency before this class 22 so, equals to 13, D2, 35, minus with frequency before this, before this model class, 20. So, 15, and then our class size, 34.5 minus 29.5 equals to 5. Okay, so to find the mode, just substitute all the value inside the formula. 29.5 plus 13 over 13 plus 15 times 5 equals to 31.8. For the median, so we need to find the R observation. So, median is Q2, the R observation, R equals to, our N is 90 divided by 2 equals to 45 observation. So, the 45 is inside this one, 62. Refer to the cumulative frequency. So, this is our median class. So, now we can just substitute into the formula. So, median Q2. So, L lower boundary. So, our lower boundary 29.5 plus. So, this one N 90 divided by 2 minus cumulative frequency before class 27. Divide by frequency at the class 35 and then multiply with class size. Class size 34.5 minus with 29.5. Upper boundary minus with lower boundary with the same class. So 5. Then calculate. So Q2 equals to 32.07. Now we want to find the 75th percentile, so P75, find the R observation, 75 divided by 100 times 90, so this one equals to 67.5 observation. Now we try to find which class we are referring to, so 67 is inside 82, so we will refer this class and then we can try to find our P75. So lower boundary for this class is 34.5 plus so the K is 75 over 100 multiply with 90 minus with cumulative frequency before class. So this one 62 
over common over frequency at the class so 20 and then multiply with class size so to find the class size 39.5 minus 34.5 so equals to 5 then calculate so we will get here is 35.875